So usually when I'm wrong, it's because I'm biased towards uh, upside or downside in the asset I'm charting. So if I want the price to go up uh, and I'm biased, I'll probably find reasons for it why it should go up. And if I want the assets to go down, I'll probably find the reason on the chart why it should go down. That makes me biased towards the asset I'm trying to chart and that makes me make wrong decisions. Uh, like right here, this is a 5 minute of Bitcoin chart and you can see we were in some kind of triangle uh, and we I was expecting break on downside, it did and then it went up. Now I was expecting break on downside because I was uh, expecting 26,000 Bitcoin. If you've been watching my previous Bitcoin videos, you will notice that I uh, am not looking at 32-33 uh, resistance uh, as a, a lowest Bitcoin will go, but 26,000. And 26,000 actually where I want the Bitcoin down to go. So I'm biased when I'm charting Bitcoin. And that spreads to everything I'm doing on all other cryptocurrency because I know that Bitcoin is moving the entire market, right? So basically, and I'll show you now on the Bitcoin chart that I actually did say that Bitcoin should go up. This is a four hourly Bitcoin chart and I made a video saying that Bitcoin is in a bull flag. Uh, we have the pole and we have the flag that's forming right now. Uh, right down here is uh, when I was expecting the price to go even further down to 26,000. But that was after this video. So I should actually just trust, trust my charting experience and try charting skills and say no no it's gonna go up up onto this line then go down down here to 26,000 but I didn't I was biased so usually when I make mistakes in charts it's because I'm biased so what we're gonna do this week entire week we're gonna do uh, chain link uh, we're gonna do chain link entire week every day of the week seven days so come back to see this video again tomorrow and more uh, tomorrow after that we're just gonna do chain link every day i'm because i'm not investing in chain link i don't care about the chain link but i'll and i can um, keep the the unbiased opinion and uh, charting of the chain link right uh, i'll still follow the bitcoin and i'll try to keep my biased opinion on where the price uh, should go but i'll try to be as uh, unpartial as I can, okay? So hi guys, how you doing by the way? Doing good, wife and kids good, husband and kids, family, everybody good, that's nice. Now we can start doing the chain link. Man, and like I said, we're gonna do this for seven uh, seven days straight, Monday to Sunday. Um, I just wanna see how my uh, videos perform uh, when I do just one thing for seven days. Uh, straight also so that's gonna be nice okay so let's get into charts and start charting just start doing technical analysis on the uh chain link so last time the chain link i was uh, saying it was gonna go down to uh, around 26 no sorry uh, 28 29 and you can see this on the uh, this one i don't get it on the four hourly chart the top here is at 26 but if you look under the daily chart the top here is at 27 point something 27.7 so if somebody out there can explain to me why it's 27.7 on the daily and only 26 on the uh, four hourly i would like that explanation because i don't get it i don't get it anyways let's start with what's happening right now so basically uh, from the last time on chain link we had uh, we had uh, this uh, uh, divergence so price was going higher but the RSI was going lower, right? And I was looking at this uh, pump over here and I was saying there, there's no way we, we can uh, push the price uh, with uh, this above uh, this line. And we didn't and it got uh, corrected on the downside. So this, this divergence is already played out. We don't have to worry about the uh, divergence. Now we are in some kind of downtrend, uh, small downtrend over here. And we have to follow what's happening now. Uh, the line to watch for Chainlink right now is this line over here, uh, the support, uh, sorry, yeah, the resistance line. So if we are going to go up, uh, this is the line to watch for because we're going to resist uh, this uh, really heavily. Uh, let's go back to the Bitcoin chart and I'll try to keep un unpartial. We're going to use this chart over here. And what I said in Bitcoin video that we are in a bull flag. So we are going up this flag and then we are uh, getting a correction on downside. Bull flag is usually some kind of a, a distribution uh, patterns or reaccumulation patterns or something like that. Uh, and this is almost a textbook perfect uh, pattern right now. So if this plays out, as I'm expecting it to play out, this move over here down to the, uh, this bottom over here, around 26, 27, whatever is going to hit. Uh, 
uh, if this plays out then the next move is gonna come and we're gonna go higher let me use this one over here because i just put it out this was gonna happen right but only if we get this move down so i'm uh, still unpartial i'm saying it we can break uh, uh, out of this uh, channel over here and go higher up if that happens at uh, break of the channel however you want to put this uh depends on uh, what i'm doing maybe something like this uh this line is very very important if this line goes up everything goes uh goes up but it starts going down you can expect both chain link and everything else to go down so watch for bitcoin for this pattern over here uh to see if the bull flag is actually correctly uh, uh playing out because right now we are hitting some kind of tops over here maybe something like this uh this this looks something more uh maybe a bit better maybe this one is supposed to go like this it really doesn't matter it is a bull flag right now and i want this uh, to go all the way down to the around 26 27 and after that we're gonna go up if that happens uh all good so based on that based on that i'm uh, i'm expecting still a little bit biased still a little bit biased but that means that big uh, link will also go down so basically this support over here at 18.7 uh and uh, 18.3 or 4 uh that's the ultimate support for the chain link because if it's uh keeps the support it means it's holding the higher uh higher low uh if it starts going down over here uh, and just uh, bounce up all good because we got low and then you got a, a higher low that's very bullish all right but if it starts falling down through the support and then goes up then you have a low and you have a low low not only low 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 you have three one two three in a row and here you got one two three higher highs in a in a, in a row that means that we get another pattern just a second <coughs> oh my god <laughs> okay so basically what that's gonna have uh give us after that it's we're gonna have some uh, megaphone uh pattern over here uh and we are expecting that to play out i'll go all the way down to the megaphone pattern and up again so if megaphone pattern happens let me just put it on here uh, it's gonna be something like that so around 16 17 or uh, something like that uh, support down there so we're gonna find this support around here and i think that's gonna come on the weekly chart uh, let me zoom in a little bit this over here yeah this over here 14.5 you got two supports you got this one over here at 16.4 and then really bearish support down at 14.5 uh i don't think we're gonna get all all the way down to 14.5 but if we do break the 18.7 support uh 16.4 is the line to uh, to watch out for 16.4 let's see see how that looks on the four hourly chart uh yeah it gives us something of a megaphone right over here it's gonna be something like this you see here it starts going out it, it can hit 16.4 and still be in the pattern that we are actually looking for also reason i think this is gonna go down is because of this formation over here that looks like to me like it's a double top so we get a double top we got some kind of a top on the bitcoin because hitting the upper resistance so for me this looks like we're gonna start uh, seeing some bearish trend uh, during the next days and stuff like that that's it guys thanks for the video this is the first video in the series of seven videos so make sure to check next video tomorrow uh, and if you like the video subscribe man then you get the notification and everything and like every, everybody says like click the notification subscribe and then all button or something like that right then uh, then you get everything thanks for watching see you tomorrow this chain link video this is the late adopter this is the channel this is the channel to be we are growing by 100 percent per per month so we are expecting the doubling rate uh, uh we expect it to be 100,000 in i don't know if somebody can calculate that uh that would be nice thanks for watching see you tomorrow bye bye